Shadows of 2D and 3D Objects Part 1 Come, let us study the shadow formed by the two-dimensional and the three-dimensional objects. If we keep the torch perpendicular to the cylinder, then the shadow will be formed as shown here. Here, we can see that the shadow forms a rectangle which is a two-dimensional shape and a cylinder which is a three-dimensional shape. Now we will keep the torch horizontally with the cylinder. Then the shadow that is formed will be in circular shape, which is also a two-dimensional shape. However, if the cylinder is hollow, in that case the form of the shadow will be just like a ring. What type of shadow formation takes place for a sphere? When we talk about a sphere, then the shadow will always be a circle, depending on wherever the source of light is kept. From this activity, we may conclude that the shadow of any object is always two-dimensional. It does not depend on the dimensions of the object.